Hi, my name is Devin Thomas. I'm the co-director and principal here at Stream Charter School. Hi everyone, I'm Ellen Hamilton and I'm the new co-director who does finance. We are super excited for the school year and we're super excited to have you guys here. For returning families, we want to say welcome back. We're excited to have you back. And for our new families, we want to say welcome to Stream. We are excited about what is going on here at Stream. We're looking forward to an amazing year. We have a lot of new things going on, new teachers, new activities, and we are looking forward to a wonderful year. This year, we also have a new way to drop off and pick up students. That will be explained in this video as well. We are just excited that we have you as a part of our Stream family, and we are looking forward to getting to know you much better. Thank you so much for this opportunity for us to welcome you here, and we're looking forward to an amazing year. Thank you. Thank you. With an emphasis on safety, we've decided to move to a one-way drive-through, both for pickup and drop-off. Ideally, we would like to see drivers come in on the 7th Avenue side, either behind the gas station or traveling a little further down 7th Avenue and entering through the driveway behind the gym. The following clip will show cars coming in through the driveway behind the gym and their route to drop kids off and pick them up. This next clip will show cars coming in off of 7th Avenue behind the gas station to drop off and pick up students. Again, to keep students safe, we want to make sure that when we are going through the parking lot, we are going at a slow speed. There is one place where we will have cars potentially merging, cars coming from behind the gas station and from behind our gym. This video shows cars coming from both locations and going through the drop-off and pickup area. We have one designated drop-off area. This is between the gym and the NPR. We ask that students get out of the car on the passenger side and then walk to the playground. There will be a crossing guard in the street to help students get to the playground safely. Again, out of abundance of caution, we ask that all drop-offs take place in this designated drop-off area. The following series of clips will be the different locations for pickup for all of our students. Again, following the same flow of traffic, we will be picking up students by the NPR. In the clip that you are seeing now, you are seeing grades kinder, first, and second will be picked up between the NPR and the gym. For grades TK, 3, and 4, students will line up by the NPR between the NPR and 4th grade. Once you have your student in your vehicle, you will continue with the flow of traffic and exit onto Oro Dam.
In this final clip, you will see where 5th through 8th grade will be picked up, again, by the NPR, behind the 6th and 8th grade classrooms. After picking up your 5th through 8th grader, you will continue and take a left behind the dental office and head out to Oro Dam. As a reminder, all students will need to be picked up by the NPR. We did this so that students can enter their vehicle on the passenger side. As always, student safety is our number one priority. We hope this video explains our new pick up and drop off procedures. Please remember to give yourself a little extra time early in the year as we all get accustomed to this change. Thank you.